As we just heard, Korea is looking to the future with a new focus on high-tech industries like biotech that's growing more prominent in the global market. Our Moon Aeryeon went to find out more about this particular industry and the current hurdles it faces. With the nation's semiconductor industry slowing, the South Korean government has decided to focus its efforts on six new future industries as new growth engines. And biotechnology is at the forefront of it all. I'm here at NextRise, South Korea's biggest startup fair, and I'll be taking a look at some of the country's up and coming biotechnology firms. Other than providing a space for startup firms to network and present their products and services, NextRise this year will be offering awards from the Korean International Trade Association to four companies, giving them the chance to attend the world's biggest IT show in the United States later this year. Organoid Sciences was one of the 14 finalists with its Organoids, a miniaturized three-dimensional human organ grown in a lab. We evaluate the efficacy of drugs, but we're also expanding the platform so it can be used by a number of different related industries. When asked about the support needed by biotechnology startup firms such as Organoid Sciences, the chief technical officer had this to say. Because of the sheer nature of the biotech industry, projects are long term and the technical barriers are high. So I think what needs to be done to foster startups is to look at support from a long term perspective. Biopharma companies are also currently struggling with their current position in the market. It's clear that the bio industry is developing a lot in South Korea and attracting a lot of attention worldwide. However, recently, it has been very difficult with the end of the COVID-19, and it is true that interest is actually waning quite a bit. So now there's an inclination to push it back a bit in the financial market. With the global bio industry predicted to grow at an annual rate of nearly 8 percent, the South Korean government plans to foster its bio industry by launching a detailed support plan within the month. It is expected to address key issues such as labor shortages. Last year, the biohealth industry faced one of the largest shortages among production industries at 3.4 percent. Whether the government will come up with a long-term plan the way industry insiders are hoping for remains to be seen. Moon Hye-ryeon, Arirang News.